be the ice cream you want to be in the world. Hey peeps, Jess here and welcome to yet another Tiny Table Mini Mukbang. Today we are doing Molly's Flight. This is every single ice cream that Molly Moons has, except for coffee because I can't do coffee. Actually, this is so complicated. It has a map. Today we will be going through 13 of the 14 flavors along with as many ice cream toppings as I could shove in my bag. It's gonna be interesting. I've got water, things are melting, the noise is atrocious. I'm at least going to try to get some audio here. I really hope this works. This was $20 of ice cream and toppings. Dear goodness. Okay. Get the map in order. But of course, before I dive in, I must ask you off some peeps to hit those like and subscribe buttons so I can keep on bringing you the ice cream goodness. But let's start. Today, this is the seasonal. We've got s'mores. I just want to try it. It looks really fluffy. Mmm. It's really toasty. I should figure out what I even have here. I mean, I, I got everything. But do I remember what I got? No. This is whipped cream. Why not? Let's just shove some whipped cream in here. I actually decided to do this particular mukbang before the Sunday got announced. Ooh, balsamic reduction. And then the Sunday came out and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to do this. Then mint crumble. So I'll save this guy for a bit. Let's see, we got another seasonal thing. This is one of the swirls. Maybe this is a cherry. Ooh, a very nice bold cherry flavor. Let's try you. This is scout mint. Very minty. Let's add the crumbles then. I'm just gonna make a giant mess. I admit this is a little harder than I expected it would be only because I got really antsy before making this happen. Ooh, hot fudge. Perfect. Yes. So I planned this to be as early as possible and it turns out a whole lot of people around here go to lunch at noon. Mmm. I love their hot fudge so much. But yes, that makes sense. But just like when I got here at noon, nothing was happening. It was empty and dead. Now, 12.15ish, everybody's here. See this guy, salted caramel. One of my favorites. A lovely toasty sugar, burnt sugar notes. Mm. I should explain why I wanted to do it anyway. So I was looking through my old videos. Ooh, ooh, this is the crumble. Put a bunch over here. And I've interviewed Molly actually, which was really cool. I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. This guy is this sorbet. I think this is the bumbleberry. It's really bright and all sorts of red fruit notes. But yeah, I've interviewed Molly. I'd gone to her farms, like the farms they work with. I, I'll link everybody below. But I never just sat down eating her ice cream. And I thought I was gonna do it like, you know, sets of three, make it more reasonable. This is not reasonable. I think this is strawberry. Let's find out. I did ask for coffee to just be removed. Mmm. Very light. Much lighter than I expected. The last time I had it, I felt like it was more roasty, but I need that lightness right now, desperately, as we move on to cookie dough. And your melted chocolate. Always light. Let's see, we got lemon curd over here. Let's throw some lemon curd on this crisp. And I decided that while I was here, I might as well just add every topping. It's so good with the lemon curd and the crisp because a really nice textural contrast. Ooh. Get some water. I 
I really hope any of this comes out color balance wise or sound wise. I will be upset. Ooh. I don't know which this is. This is one of the caramels. There's a caramel and a cajeta. Cajeta is traditionally made with goat's milk. Let's try it. Probably caramel. It's got more of a sweet note. I'm not tasting a tang. It's nice though. A bit of everything. Who are you? You might be honey lavender. Honey lavender, but I've heard is really good with the lemon curd. So let's add some more. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good. It's just so bright and then mellow together. Oh, then the Yeti, which is getting lost in here. Mm. We can pour actually some honey lavender and a little bit of the balsamic could be interesting. Let's try that. Whoa, it's really bright and tart. Wow, you have to really like balsamic though to get that. I think this is the Earl Grey. Very clean. Ooh, ooh, this is sweet cream. So let's do sweet cream with balsamic ultimate contrast. Mm, that's lovely. This is gonna be a puddle. Mm. <laughs> Got a marshmallow. <laughs> kind of feels like I'm having a birthday party. Yeah, I know the light's gonna be doing its thing. We got s'mores, we got chocolate. You're here. It's a good time. I feel like my favorite's still the hot fudge, which, yep. Bringing the toppings was really necessary. This isn't an impossible ice cream mountain, but having the contrast is so nice. Salsa I couldn't have every topping in every ice cream, one of their ice creams, is, topping, <laughs> toppings that is, is hazelnuts. Which actually used to be my favorite from Molly Moons was the Molly's favorite sundae. Mm. Hot fudge with chocolate chunks, so good. Molly's favorite is the melted chocolate and the salted caramel with Hot fudge, candied hazelnuts, whipped cream, and a cherry. And that used to be my I'm having a bad day and need ice cream jam. Yes. I have made a glorious mess. Honestly, this is not impossible. I am starving. Let's be real, I came in with an empty stomach, but this isn't so bad. I know I now should put like famous last words, but no, this isn't too bad at all. Mainly because again, yeah, with all the toppings and all the options, it's got a lot of contrast and this is melting at the speed of sound. I chose the coldest day to shoot this. It's, you can't tell, can you? Hmm. I think of these, I still really like the classic with the, the melted chocolate, the salted caramel. Dear goodness, that sun. Holy wow. I'm trying here. There's shade over that way, but I'm scared to move this. I think you can forgive me just this once. It's an experimental mm. Mm. But I think that this just shows off how classic my moon stuff is. I'm getting eaten the mush at this point and it still just all goes together well. Mm. Wow, I just want this as an ice cream cake. <laughs> 
little bit of everything. I do wish I wasn't filming this in such direct sunlight. I mean, it's so harsh. I can see a little bit, but ooh. Oh, that was a good chunk. I got a little bit of honey lavender, a little bit of chocolate. Really nice. I'm not normally a lavender fan, but that earthiness really goes well. I think I'm not a fan of intense lavender flavor. I like that mellowness, that subtle earth flavor note. Very herbal. Hmm. When in doubt, add more whipped cream to this monstrosity. Hmm. Seriously, though, moving this was scary. I think I will move it. You know, it's, uh, no, even getting this angle was a nightmare. That would not an, an oh, woe is me, but this is on top of its side, the container bin. I've got my camera. It's actually on my backpack. I'm laying on the dirt. The thing to do to get the angle vaguely right. I actually wish we talked about that more, both on YouTube and just Instagram and all these social media. Like, how do you get the shot? I've ended up on ladders for some of my favorite shots, so I just wish we were more transparent because it's cool. Yeah, my first real gig as a photographer was in Louisiana at seven in the morning well, because I could only really shoot seven in the morning. I was at this hotel that was really more like a cottage and we were asked to shoot some sausage while I was there and it was Louisiana in July. So I put the spread out at seven with some time for my camera to set up. And then, well, then my camera had to rehumidify for the right temperature. And then I went and just shot from the ladder. Got the shot. The food was so scary though. Yep, almost done. Ooh, more salted caramel. Yeah, I think Balsamic reduction really has limited application for me, but I'm always in for more whipped cream. And that crumble really is good. Mm. I just like ice cream. It's been so miserably hot. It's not last year again, but it's nice to have a little bit cooler weather. It was also fully clouded when I started shooting and it's like, no, no, my light, no. So it goes. Good ice cream soup. Hard to eat though. Mm. I actually love to know, what do you like on your ice cream? Let me know in the comments. I know today's been quiet. I've been <laughs> racing airplanes, running to get here. You don't think about just how much mood impacts mukbang. As I got really upset trying to find a spot just now, I should explain why. Well, maybe my allergies, I'm really allergic to grass. Basically because I'd prepped and scouted, I really didn't end up what I wanted. Oh no. <laughs> oh joy. <laughs> I forgot to ask and I'm pretty sure it was hip hazelnuts. Great. My fault. Tastes really good. 
I'm gonna be okay. I'm not that allergic. It's just, I will not eat the rest of that soup. Play it safe. And now I'm extra glad that I have water because I can fix the problem from here. I will be fine. Just my own folly. I wasn't really catching the hazelnut because there's so many flavors. And now that we're down to sweet cream and sorbet, I can actually taste the hazelnut. Whoops. Mm. When in doubt, eat more hot fudge. Mm. So what have we learned today? Mainly that hot fudge is delicious. So what did we learn today? This is not impossible. I'm actually still hungry. I'm gonna eat a salad after this because dear goodness, I'm gonna eat a salad after this. I do think if you are with a group, I would get a couple toppings. I don't think you need every last topping that they sell. I was just having fun. I think the lemon curd is a really good idea as is the hot fudge and the whipped cream. That would be my, you need to pick three, get those. Whipped cream lightens any flavors and the hot fudge and lemon curd add and it's a good combo because then you can meter out your Sunday experience. Don't know if I get this again anytime soon though. It is $13 before everything else gets added in and I'd rather normally just get a really small sundae like the Molly's favorite, hold the hazelnuts. So thank you as always for joining me on yet another very strange tiny table mini mukbang. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What was your favorite ice cream? Have you tried any of these guys? I'd love to hear all about it. If you have interested in more tiny table mini mukbang, I'll put them right here. I'll catch you next time. Laters! Do I have a sunburn? Probably. <laughs>